So today I want to talk about the victim, Summer Wells. Summer Wells disappeared from her home in Hawkins County in Tennessee, which if you're not aware is in the USA. Summer disappeared apparently in a two to five minute time frame, according to her mother, Candace Bly. I've never believed that. I didn't believe it the first time I heard it. I've never believed it. It's never added up to me. I just don't see how Summer could have disappeared so quickly. Acres and acres of woodland surround that house. So how did someone sneak up and not be heard and abduct Summer? The abduction or kidnapping theory has never added up to me and it never will. I still believe that Summer come to harm on the 15th of June last year. I believe she died on that day. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but I've never wavered from how I feel about what happened to Summer Wells. I have obviously considered that Summer was sold and it's the second most plausible theory in my opinion. But the most plausible theory to me is that Summer died and Grandus, Candace and Dom all covered it up. I've always felt that way for the last year. I do not believe that any of Summer's neighbours are involved. I'm not going to start pointing fingers at Jodie Sue like everybody else seems to be doing. I just don't buy that Jodie Sue or any other neighbour is involved. Obviously they could be, but I just don't believe that they are. Don and Candace have told us from their language from day one that they're involved. They'd accepted Summer was dead within days of her disappearing, which is completely abnormal for parents of a missing child. Don and Candace have always slipped up with the script, and so has Grandis, especially when she inserted a nap into the script that wasn't previously in the script. Because of the ongoing circus that surrounds Don and Candace, heartbreakingly, Summer is often forgotten. Well, even with all the clowns involved in her case, I've never forgotten Summer. I never will forget Summer Wells, and I will always hope that she is alive. But sadly, I'm a realist, and I don't believe that she is. I wish I could say that I do not think that Summer is dead, but... From the very first time I saw Don and Candace in that very first media interview, I knew in my heart that Summer was most likely dead. Over the last year, I've considered so many different theories. I've gone down so many different rabbit holes. But to me, the victim in all of this is an innocent little girl called Summer Wells. I really hope that Summer is never forgotten. I really hope that Summer's case is solved before we get to the two-year anniversary. Sadly, I don't think the case is going to be solved before June the 15th, which is very, very fast approaching. I'm dreading June the 15th. I know that I'm going to feel emotional. I have done on every month anniversary since Summer disappeared last year. I've invested an entire year of my life researching Summer's case. And why? Why have I done that? Because last year, it came to my attention in June that a little girl had gone missing. This little girl had a missing auntie. And this little girl disappeared in a two to five minute time frame on a property where apparently she'd been planting flowers with her mother and her grandmother. I have never bought that we were planting cacti story. I think that's BS. Just like I've never bought the entire script. The script stinks. It stinks really bad. Just like everything that's come out of Don and Candace's mouths since Summer disappeared. There's been so much BS, so much drama, and the circus is still continuing. Even with Dom safely tucked up in jail, Candace has gone AWOL and does not appear on YouTube anymore. Even with the pair of them gone off of YouTube, the circus continues. When will the circus ever end? Who could say? Maybe with the one year anniversary fast approaching, some creators will stop covering Summer's case because there is no news. I will continue to cover Summer's case, but once the one year anniversary passes, unless there is some big news or I find another interview that I want to do a statement analysis of, I will not be covering Summer's case as much as I have during the past year. It's not because I don't want Summer to be found, 
I just can't keep going back over and over the script, picking it apart, trying to find deception when I know that there is plenty of it. I won't ever forget you, Summer Wells. I really hope that you were found. I hope that you're not forgotten in amongst the circus. And I hope that you get justice. But with a whole year having nearly passed, my hopes of summer being found alive are fading fast. I do still cling on to hope, because you have to. I try to think she could be alive, but in my heart, I just don't feel she is. I wish I could feel different. I wish I could say, I'm sure she's out there somewhere, alive. But I can't. I can't say that because I just don't know. Summer could be alive. Summer could be dead. The best outcome of all is that Summer is out there somewhere safe. And I really hope that I'm wrong in thinking that she is dead. I'm sure, like me, all of you are also dreading the one year anniversary on the 15th of June this year. There are meant to be vigils going on, which obviously I will not be going to, and even if I lived in America, I also would not be attending. I'll be interested to see if Candace and Grandus show up to the vigils and pay their respects to their missing daughter and granddaughter. But you know what? I really don't think that they'll bother to turn up, but maybe I'm wrong and maybe they will show their faces. We'll see. So guys, what do you think about everything that's going on with Summer's case at the moment? Or the lack of it? Clearly Candace is not appearing on YouTube anymore. Don is in jail, so there's no YouTube for Don. Grandice has never liked being on YouTube, so all the players in this case are gone. Gone from YouTube, no more interviews, they're just gone. Will we ever hear from them again? I wonder. I'll be very interested to see if Don is released later this year. Obviously he might not be, as other allegations made against him may mean he has to be transferred to Utah and spend a bit of time there in jail. We'll see. But if Don does get out, I do wonder if he'll go straight back to appearing here on YouTube. Because he was pretty addicted to being on YouTube before he went to jail, it really will be interesting to see what happens on the 15th of June on Summer's one year missing anniversary. Will Candace speak out? Will a statement be given to the press? Will the Don Wells family official YouTube channel post an update? We'll see. I will of course be keeping my eye on any developments on Summer's anniversary and of course I will be keeping my eye on Summer's case in general. I just hope that Summer is found Please all pray that this little girl one day gets justice. So guys, how do you all feel about the one year anniversary fast approaching? I'm already feeling emotional about it now, so I doubt I'm going to be in the best of states on the 15th. I'm planning on spending the day at home on my own with my thoughts. My thoughts will be of summer and I'll be hoping that she is found soon.